Thanks for clicking on the video. Today, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. We're always talking about power stations, solar panels, solar prepping. Like I said, I just want to mix it up a little bit. Uh, I've had some people comment on some of my videos, and I've had probably two or three emails. What are you going to do when one of those power stations catches on fire or explodes and burns your house down? And I'll be honest with you, it puts a little bug in your head, and you start to really think about it. Kindly glad some people has commented on that, because phosphate's pretty uh, safe, but lithium ion isn't. I'm true, truly not really worried about my power stations, but there is a slight chance that could happen. But lithium ion is in every one of our houses. You know, I'm sure there ain't nobody out there who doesn't have at least one lithium ion battery in your home. Uh, this right here is lithium ion and uh, says it right there, ion. This is a battery for my sweeper. We have about five of these, you know, rechargeable. Right here is a battery bank to charge your cell phones, like when you're on vacation or an emergency. I put little uh, lights, hook them up to them, you know, lithium ion. Right here, rechargeable batteries, you know, just for around the house to put in your remote controls, you know, your TV controller, uh, fire alarms on the wall, lithium ion, you know, all of these. Uh, right there's some to my flashlights, lithium ion. They do uh, have a problem with them catching on fire and exploding. Uh, airplanes, besides your cell phone and maybe a laptop, they don't allow uh, lithium-ion batteries on the planes when you're taking a trip. But uh, most of your power stations nowadays, they take LIFEPO4 phosphate batteries, and uh, they're pretty safe. Uh, I've never heard of one exploding or catching on fire. I've had one smoke on me before, then it quits. But uh, the lithium ion is really the one you got to watch out for. And I've, in the last probably three, maybe four weeks, I've got online and really tried to check out what can you do to prevent a lithium battery fire, whether it's whatever it's in, you know. And, uh, you know, they talk about watering it down, but you got to have so much water, you know, more than a normal fire. Uh, the uh, foam fire extinguishers, which, you know, hey, they work, but who can afford them? If you check out the prices, you're talking three or $400 just for a regular fire extinguisher. And uh, baking soda and sand, well, in a home, that's just stupid because you ain't got enough in your home to even do that. So the best thing that I have found for a lithium ion battery fire is these fire blankets. You can buy these pretty much anywhere online. Uh, there's different brands. They're 100% fiberglass and uh, eBay, Amazon, anywhere you can find them. And uh, the cheapest place I found them personally was on eBay and this right here is the Mart Cobra uh, fire blanket. And again, it's 100% fiber, uh, fiberglass. It comes in a pouch. It's got an eye on it. You can hang it on the wall or, or wherever you want. Down here, it's Velcro at the bottom. It's got two straps that you can grab. And they're attached to the blanket themselves. And you can just jerk it right out if it's hanging on a wall. Or you can just grab it like this and jerk it out or however. But uh, this is the best way to put out a lithium ion fire or even a phosphate fire. But uh, these are all over the internet. Like I said, they're very affordable. You can get these roughly for one. They're around like $12, $13. But on eBay, I found one seller who gives you two of them for 13 bucks. I think it's like $12.99, $12.97 two of them and i've looked everywhere you can't beat that price that i found i ain't saying there ain't a better price out there but this is very affordable they uh smother the fire it actually won't put out the fire but what it does it protects you from getting burnt or your clothes on fire you can cover it it keeps the fire from jumping on furniture fabric or carpet or curtains 
You see what I'm saying? And that way you can get it out of the house. And two, you can use these in the kitchen for a kitchen fire, a grease fire, pretty much any fire. But this is what's recommended for a lithium ion uh, battery fire. So I just wanted to bring that to y'all's attention. And I've really thought about it. And, you know, I, I said to myself, you know, how would I go about putting out a fire where my power stations are in my bedroom? For you uh, uh, ones that subscribe and, and watch my channel, re channel regularly, you know, I've got them on a, a big table like this everywhere and on my dresser. I thought, how, how would I go about putting one out if an emergency come about? And I'm going to show you what I would do for my situation and for my house. Now, your situation is probably going to be totally different. You probably keep them in another room. I don't know. But if you do end up getting some of these blankets or one of these blankets, uh, you need to really sit down and think, what procedure are you going to do to put out a fire and, and make your home safe? Because let me tell you, when these things catch on fire, there ain't no waiting, especially the lithium ion. They go off like a, a, a sparkler. I mean, and they don't quit till they're out. And it can take up to 24 hours is what I've read on the internet. I ain't saying all of them is going to take that long. Some of them might be an hour. I don't know. But they said they can be up to 24 hours. So I just wanted to show you what I, I would do if it was in my situation and in my bedroom where my power stations are. We're going to go over that. So uh, let's get to it. So if I'm going to use this power station just as a demonstration. And this is what I would do in my situation if this got on fire in my bedroom. This is where I'm, my bedroom is where I'm going to keep these. I'm going to put them right on the table or hang them next to the table of all my power stations. That way they're close. I can grab them. I ain't got to run all over the house and look for them. But let's say this started smoking or catching on fire. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it and I'm going to pull it right out. These are 40 by 40. They're heavier than you think. They're thick. And before the video's over, I'm going to give you an up-close look at these. But the first thing I would do is cover my power station. That way, it's putting a barrier of the fire, a barrier in between me and the fire. That way, the sparks, the flames... Don't jump on my clothes. They don't jump on the curtains, the bed, the uh, carpet if you got carpet, whatever. I'm putting a barrier between the fire and me and everything else. I'm going to put this over it, and I'm going to try my best to tuck in all the edges to contain that fire. The second thing I'm going to do, and the reason that I bought a second one and not just one, I'm going to show you that. That one's stuck. <laughs> I'm going to take the second one, and I'm going to lay it on the floor flat. And I'm going to try to do it as quick as I can in a real situation. But this way, I can take this generator, pick it up, and I'm going to tuck these up under, and I'm going to set it right in the middle of this second one on the floor. Then I'm going to take my edges, and I'm going to try just like wrapping a gift. I'm going to wrap my power station. That way, all six sides of this power station has got a barrier between the fire and out here at me and everything else. So you might smell some smoke and all, but no flames are going to be jumping or getting on anything. And this fabric right here, the fiberglass, can take up to 1,070 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a major you know, resistant on heat. Lithium ion batteries, they go up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. And phosphate batteries, they go up to 520 degrees Fahrenheit. So you are covered with these blankets as far as it burning the blanket or anything. It will not burn the blanket and it will not come through. But after I've got this second blanket wrapped around it, I'm going to grab my power station. I'm going to get it outside, put it in the yard, 
the driveway, the road, wherever I can get it away from my house and away from everybody else safely. Then I'm going to call the fire department. That's all you can do. Just let it burn till they get here and keep everybody away from it. Because the uh, uh, lithium ion, they can explode. So you definitely want to watch for that and just get a back off from it and keep everybody away from it. But with both of these blankets wrapped around it, the fire cannot get out and escape and catch something else on fire. If anything, it's just going to put off some smoke. So that's why I say do it as quick as you can and safely as you can and get it outside and then call the fire department. Here's the blanket. I'm going to show you the cover pouch first. You can pause it if you would like. That way you can read it all. And again, these are Velcro right here. It just lips over after you got your blanket in there. You look real close, it is very, very thick. Again, 100% fiberglass. The stitching is good. You don't see no threads hanging out a lot. This is the end of it. That's the last thread. And here's how it'll hang, just like this. And you'll have your little blanket tags hanging out. That way you can pull them. But I just wanted to show y'all that. And again, it's marked Cobra brand. So again, as you've seen the little scooter moped uh, catching on fire, the lithium battery, right there is how quick these things can catch on fire and the, especially the lithium ion. So they're no joke. Like I said, I've done my research the best that I can. And from everything I have read, these are the best method of putting out a lithium battery fire. So like I said, get online, find you one that suits you. You know, I'm sure there's uh, uh, better ones, you know, cheaper ones. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. This one here, it had all the certifications. It had a, a, a high a fire resistant temperature rate. So check them out. Again, this is the Mart Cobra. I'm gonna leave the description, uh, the link to this in the description for y'all to look at. But again, just get whatever suits you. But like I said, this one, it gives you two of them for $12.99, you know, a little bit of tax, the shipping's free. So check it out, uh, be safe. Really give this some thought, and thanks for tuning in, and I appreciate a like, a subscribe if you ain't already, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. God bless.